Hi, I'm Amanda with BulbAmerica.com. In this video, we're going to talk about plug-in fluorescent bulbs and their wattages. Now, their wattages and their bases actually go hand in hand. So I'm going to go through the different wattages and the different bases so that you can understand uh, more clearly how to choose the correct bulb for your fixture. So let's start here with the G23 and the GX23. I'm just going to go through all of the details and we'll look at the number of pins, we'll look at the codes on the outside of the base, the notches, any detail. So the difference between these two here, this one is the G23, this one is the GX23. So we have a G23 here, it's made by GE, and I just want to show you um, what the code on the base indicates. So I'm going to read it for you, it says F9BX slash 841 slash ECO. Now what the F indicates is that it's a fluorescent bulb, and then you have 9, which is your wattage, BX, meaning by X, that's uh, one name that they use for this particular type of bulb, and then you have slash 8, 8 indicates that it's the number following is going to be the color temperature, and then you have 41, which is 4100K and that's your color temperature. And then slash ECO, ECO which stands for ECHO. So that's how you can understand a little better about the codes. Now, if you want to take a look at the base, the difference between the two is actually their notches. They look very similar, but as you can see, the G23 has one large notch here in the front, and the GX23 has two notches here in the front. So it's very important to pay attention to these details because while the bulbs look almost identical. One has also a longer tube and one has different notches. So this is all very important when it comes to choosing the right replacement because if you don't choose the exact same um, base as your fixture, then of course it's not going to fit properly into your fixture or it won't fit at all. Um, if you are using the incorrect bulb inside of a fixture and it, it happens to be able to fit in there, um, although it may turn on, it will turn on just for a little while and then it will end up blowing the ballast that's inside of the base. So you want to be really careful when it comes to um, choosing the right base. That's why this video is very important. Now also, um, the length of the tube often indicates the wattage. So this tube is a little bit longer than the other one. So as you can see, it's going to indicate a higher wattage. Um, the shorter the tube, the lower the wattage and the longer the tube, the higher the wattage. Now, I also want to show you the 2G11. So this is a 2G11. As you can see, it's a very long tube, and this is just a four-pin base. It's four pins straight across. And what's really important to know about this is that the 2G11 also comes in a UV version. So um, many times customers have been a little confused about these two because they look very similar, they have the exact same base, and this UV version will fit into your regular 2G11 fixture. However, this UV is used for only special applications, so if you do not need a UV bulb, um, then you don't need to purchase this one. This is for things like um, medical use, sterilization, water, pur water purification, and things of that nature. Um, so just be very Careful, pay close attention when you're ordering this type of bulb. You want to make sure that you're not getting the UV version if you don't need it. And um, now moving on over to this family here. This again has two pins, but now we're getting into double tubes. So as you can see, this is a double tube. This is a single tube. I know we had another video that explained the difference between that, so I hope you guys understand. Um, now, this has two pins, once again, and also it has one notch, one large notch here in the front, but on the other two, you'll start seeing smaller notches. So this has a smaller notch here, just at the top of the base. Same thing with this one, it has it on the opposite side. So that's another detail to pay attention to. Now we have a little bit more variety, so I just wanted to show you um, the different wattages. This one here is a nine watt. As you can see, it's got a low wattage and smaller tubes. This one here is an 18 watt. The tubes get a little bit larger. And this one is a 26 watt. And as you can see, this is, this is the largest one of all of them. Um, so 
Next, we have the G24Q-1, dash 2, and dash 3. And um, these are four pins. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four pins here on the base. Again, you want to pay attention to the notches. This one has a smaller notch here in the center. This one has it. Um, you'll, you'll either see the notches in the center or to the left of center or to the right of center, or they may not have a notch at all. So it's just very important to pay attention to all of the details on the base. And over here we have the triple tubes. These are four pins as well. Again, you want to pay attention to the notches. This one even has um, two notches side by side. So that's very important all around. Every single detail that you see on the base uh, will help you to choose the right one. Now we're going to summarize the details that you need to look at in order to choose the correct base. So you want to start with the number of tubes, whether you have a single tube or a double tube or a triple tube or even a quad tube, which is four tubes. So you have the number of tubes. Now you want to look at what type of base you have. So each base will have a different number of pins. So this is a single tube with two pins. This is a single tube with four pins. Then you have your double tubes with two pins. And then double tubes with four pins. And of course, triple tubes and quad tubes with four pins as well. Next, you want to look at what notches or what um, different raised marks are on the base. So we have two large notches here, and this one actually has no notches. Some will have these little raised notches here, the smaller ones, and they'll have them in different positions, whether it's in the center, to the left, to the right. You want to make sure you're paying attention to where these notches are. Because if they are not in the correct position for your fixture, of course, they will not fit into your fixture. And um, this could either cause damage to your fixture or to the ballast on the inside of your bowl. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to all these different details. First, the number of tubes, then looking at the type of base that you have, looking at how many pins you have, and where the notches are placed. And if you need any further information, there are really great diagrams on the website as well at bulbamerica.com. And you can always call us and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.